a lot of the, um, if you like, the social dynamics of work used to be about, um, at the heart of the social contract was you give us your time. You know, you, you, you give us your time and we give you a, a regular salary. You forego, you give up certain freedoms in terms of what you can do and you conform to policies and, and procedures and, you, you know, you subsume yourself into the brand in return for a regular paycheck. And in return for that, we provide a room to work in and a desk and a chair and a computer and a mobile phone and maybe a car and all these things which you couldn't really easily get yourself or manage yourself. You know, it used to be complicated to <laughs> have a computer and, um, you know, it used to be a real benefit and sort of uh, social differentiator to have a mobile phone and um, all of these things. And, of course, most of the stuff that, um, that work gave us came with these overlying layers of control. So you had policies of what you could and couldn't do on that computer, um, you know, which phone calls you could make or couldn't make. It was, it's all about control. And now, of course, that, that, that's largely gone. So the walls of the office mean nothing. You know, we work globally. We, we're using this piece of free social collaborative technology. And only, you know, two years ago when I, I was still engaged with one of the big global um, uh, outsourcing companies, they, 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 they sort of said, well, we're banning Skype. We're banning Skype and we're going to use our own system. I can't remember what it was. It was, you know, Link or something. We're going to use Link. But you can't use Skype anymore. And... It was crazy because Link just doesn't work on an iPad. You know, it's just it's not <laughs> it's not like the old days when I couldn't make it. It just doesn't work. It's just complicated. And Skype is free and easy, and it works everywhere. And and that's the point. You know, social technology is easy and effortless. Uh, and um, when organisations slip into this mindset of control, they're slipping into those historic notions of what the organisation gives us, and we should be grateful for it. You know, we should be grateful they're giving us this enterprise level Microsoft system that doesn't work <laughs> and it's it's a uh, an old notion so the I think the as the, the as the physical environment of the office becomes I usually say sort of less relevant but I guess we do different things in it so there's still a social dynamic of going into an office but I certainly don't view the office as being a productive environment I don't need to be there. You know, there's nothing I get from being in my office that I can't have from being here or sat in Singapore or sat on the Eurostar. You know, it's a, it, it's um, as, as a, an artifact, the office has become less relevant. And that, of course, fuels these other, um, these other conversations about homeworking and then about the times that we work and the ways that we work and the, the platforms that we work on.